next guest, Brian Lilly. He departed from the Sun TV. Shame on the CRTC for what they did, especially a week afterwards. Brian now, we can hear Brian and well as uh, his other uh, former host with the uh, Sun News on uh, Rebel Media where we get the real news and the real views and we, we I absolutely enjoy uh, listening to Brian. I think he's a fresh face. I've, I've also heard uh, comments from uh, Lowell Green that uh, he uh, could be one of the in the running to take over his show. I think we need a voice like Brian's. I think it's important and I'd uh, certainly endorse that. He writes columns in the, uh, the Sun the media. Uh, also been published in uh, other he's also sat in for uh, Glenn Beck on uh, Fox News so you know Brian having him here it's important I bought his book he signed his book so uh, you know what after he has some words I'm going to interview Brian get some questions from the floor because I think this is an important topic and we do appreciate you coming today thank you very much so I remember the day that my stepfather came home and said you can buy a Corolla now you can buy a Toyota I grew up in Hamilton, and, and back then it was still an industrial town, and it relied heavily on electricity for the steel mills, for Procter & Gamble, for International Harvester, and all the other industries that were there. Hydro was very important. They relied on the, the, the Niagara Falls generating station. They had co-generation on sites at some of the plants. And the reason I was told that we could buy a Toyota was because we were a steel family. and. Toyota had just signed a deal to buy Canadian Steel. Toyota was not only buying Canadian Steel for the Corolla plant in Cambridge, Ontario, but they were buying parts from all over. All those parts jobs, the supply jobs, are in jeopardy now because Toyota is moving production of the Corolla to Mexico. And you have to know that part of the reason is the increasing cost of energy. And I can't blame them because they have to make cars that we can all afford to buy. And the Corolla is a budget car. And if you can't afford to buy a budget car because the cost of energy is too high, then why are you making one? You're just going to stop. They've not only driven up the cost of energy with the Green Energy Act that forces us to, as Andre Bisson was saying, just let the water flow over the dams, whether it's Niagara Falls or other generating stations. They let the water flow over the dams so that we take the high-priced electricity well, now they're bringing in cap and trade, which even Jeff Rubin, who has left CIBC World Markets to become a, an energy and environmental guru, says it's not going to help, that it's, it's a false way to, to deal with what the politicians say it's going to be. It's just going to be a cash grab for Queens Park. It hasn't helped in California. It hasn't helped in Quebec. This is just going to be another way for the government to drive up costs, and that will drive away even more industry. There's a guy that's writing Justin Trudeau's platform right now, Matthew Mendelssohn. He runs an organization called the Mowat uh, Center at the University uh, Think Tank associated with the University of Toronto. So he's on leave from the Mowat Center so that he can write Trudeau's platform. He's all tied in with the Ontario Liberals, so let me just, as an aside, say that if you love what the Ontario Liberals have done to this province, it's going to go national soon if Trudeau wins. Anyway, the Mowat Centre looked at manufacturing in Ontario. And 10 years or so ago, it used to account for 15% of the jobs in this province. When I was a kid, I'm pretty sure it was much higher. But it used to account for 15% of the jobs only a decade ago. And now, it's slightly over 10%. We've lost, according to the Moat Center, lost close to 300,000 jobs. That's not it shrinking as a percentage because our population has grown and the economy's grown. That's it shrinking as a percentage because we have lost real jobs. And you heard from Mr. Bisson, there, there's a plant up his way that moved across the border to Quebec because their, pro their cost of doing business went up by more than a million dollars a year. It was cheaper to move the plant. This is an insane way to operate. But I remember, where is Bob's office by the way? Someone point, it's over there? Okay. So I remember when his office was down on Lisgar Street and I was a reporter at CFRA and the energy minister was another young guy from this area. Well, he was young then. His name was John Baird. And Bob Shirelli, as mayor, was denouncing John Baird over the skyrocketing prices that we were paying for electricity. 
I would love to have those prices back today. But Shirelli said that it was despicable what they were doing because they were driving up the cost. The cost has only gone up. And now they're going to privatize. I should put that in air quotes, privatize. Because if it was a real privatization, we might actually see rates go down. We will not see rates go down under Kathleen Wynne's privatization. It's like her privatization of beer in, in uh, supermarkets. They're going to add on cost to it. They're going to increase the cost. And it's only going to be her friends that benefit from this. Or in her case, the bureaucracy. Because they're going to get more money out of it. We're going to pay more in taxes. When she privatizes, it's, it's going to be like Orga World. You know, there's going to be a great, a great 20-year contract or a 30-year contract, and it's going to be at fixed prices or prices that none of us, do any of you for your home sign a 20-year contract for a service? Any of you call up Nutrilon and say, hey, you're going to look after my lawn for the next 20 years and let's set a really high price? Well, you set up for a year, maybe two, and then you renegotiate. This is a false privatization that we're going to see. I would cheer a real privatization. I looked at the natural gas rate on the way over here. Enbridge in 2006, April 2006, the price for a cubic meter of gas for Enbridge was 35 cents. We don't have a fully free market in natural gas in Ontario, but do you know that we're now paying 41% of the cost that we were paying in April 2006? We're not paying that for hydro, we're paying a lot more. This is a, a, a false way of doing business. It is crony capitalism, to say the least. And the reason that you're not going to hear big business complain, other than the manufacturers, the reason that you won't hear big business complain about this privatization is they're, they're going to benefit. I was hearing Ted Cruz on with Adam Carolla the other day saying, big business flourishes with big government because they get into bed together, they look after each other, and it's the rest of us that get screwed. Remember that as you campaign on this. Continue to push them on it. Continue to push Bob Shirelli. Continue to push Kathleen Wynne. But work with anyone that will help you on this. And that includes, you know, kudos to whoever invited Andre Bisson here because having the NDP and the PCs both fight against what's happening is vital. Thank you very much.